Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 12 of the command 66 day challenge. Today, we're going to talk about custom fields, still a contact option, and yet custom fields are found under the settings menu. And then on the left hand side, you'll see custom fields is one of our command settings choices. So we go there and the custom fields is basically a way to further clarify or categorize your contacts. So let's say we wanted to create a new custom field. Let's say we did um, pie day once or twice a year. So we wanted to just have that on record what our client's favorite pie choice is. So we could say favorite pie flavor choice. Um, that one, let's make that a drop down box because we want multiple options. So let's say every year we offer apple, we offer cherry, um, let's say we offer pumpkin. And of course, my, ba my boy David Voorhees would say there's only one flavor of pie and that's chocolate. So we might to make sure we have that for him. We create that and it's going to save that as now a custom field. So when I go into my contacts, I can go in. I can click on, let's click on my test contact. I can edit and I can go down to the bottom now and select custom field and favorite pie flavor is there. And then I can actually choose his choice by saying it's chocolate, click on save. And now in his details, I can see at the very bottom, favorite pie flavor choice is chocolate. Um, there are a variety of other custom field styles that can be created. So spend some time kind of playing around with these so you get to know them a little bit better. Um, there are numbers, there are percentages, there are text fields and areas. Um, just a regular good old fashioned checkbox. There might be a link. So if you wanted to put a link to something, um, maybe their, I don't know, social media profile or their blog or something like that. So you can keep up with the client themselves. Um, I looked at percentage. I thought that might be an interesting one if you were tracking your commission rate. So you could put in the actual percentage commission that you earned. Hopefully we're all earning the standard 3%. And yet I know sometimes some discounts need to apply. Um, currency, if you were giving a rebate, maybe if you were getting a BTSA very regularly at the end of the year, you could then go in and track how many you know rebates you gave or how many BTSAs you earned um, quick and easy. So what's the difference between a custom field and a custom tag? I was thinking about it this morning. I feel like custom tags are something you wanna see very easily, right? When you're in your contacts, you can see those tags right here. So here are all my custom tags and I can see those very simply. So those might be big items like buyer, seller, um, 2019, sphere of influence, um, VIP, those types of things. Where custom fields may be information that I'm just accessing um, periodically throughout the year, but I don't need to see all day, every day. So that's basically, in my opinion, what the difference between a custom tag would be and then what a custom field might be. So go ahead and play around, get some custom fields created for things that you might utilize, apply them to the contacts that they apply to. And now we can go through, the nice thing that's kind of cool is when we get into our filters, we can select those custom fields that we created. Um, you know what, maybe that's not the truth. Custom tags, yes. So custom fields, we would not be able to sort by. So that's another good point to make sure that if you wanna be able to sort, as of right now, I don't believe that we can sort by custom fields. So I'll check with, um, the labs team and find out if I have that correct and get back to you guys on that. But for right now, if you wanted to be able to search, you would search and sort by custom tags. However, if you just wanted to know something about a specific contact, you could dial into their actual contact record. If I wanted to send Mr. Seller a pie, I could just come down and figure out what his pie choice was. So there it is, chocolate. One other thing, yesterday we talked about the neighborhood landing pages. I did want to show you. So we actually emailed myself, right? That's my contact information here. Um, and it shows just in our history, one little thing I was wanting to point out, it shows that we emailed it. And then it actually shows here, this is when I viewed it via text. And this is when we checked on that email as well. So it kind of keeps you updated as to how often I, as a contact, am viewing my own snapshot landing pages. So just one kind of, one small tidbit from yesterday's challenge as well. Guys, hope everyone has an amazing Sunday, finish their weekend strong, preparing for an amazing week. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you in the morning.